Hey, students, let's do the yodeling goat. All right, so we have a third root of 27x to the 12 squared. All right, here's what I would do. Um, you could do frying pan rules, sprinkle in a two, sprinkle in a two. Here's honestly what I would do. Watch this move. You ready for this? Hold on a second. I don't have it ready yet. I got to make it look a little bit prettier. Here's what I would do. Boom, right there. That's what I would do. See that guy right there? What I did, since this entire group is getting squared, I can sneak in this. Remember, the only way a number out here outside the radical sign, the only way this number can get into uh, the radical sign is from underneath. Okay, So if you stick it underneath this 2, theoretically, it's like attaching it to the entire group. Okay, Like all of these pieces. So if you just stick this 3 under the 2, and rewrite it, guess what you've got? You now have exponential form, or exponential, okay, exponential, okay, exponent form, excuse me. All right, so now we just follow your frying pan rule. So that's all I would do. Whatever your radical is out here, whatever root this is, sneak it in through the bottom, attach it to the exponent right here, and now you have a two-thirds for your exponent. So if you were going to apply your frying pan rules, you would have a two-thirds stick to the 27, and then you'd have a two-thirds multiply the 12. I kind of like how that works out when I do these on PowerPoints here. I'll slide the cursor over. Move that right there. Move that right there. There we go. Okay, so all I got to do is simplify. I think we did this one earlier. I think we did. Let me see here. Yeah, 27. We got 27 to the two-thirds. There it is on the uh, Stark Tech deck. Um, so 27 to two-thirds. Well, let's see. What three numbers make 27? I think that's... 3 times 3 times 3, yeah, that makes 27, and I only want 2 of them. So 2 of the 3 numbers that make 27 is 3 times 3, oh, 9, okay. 9 is going to be my whole number, my coefficient, so I'm going to put a 9 right there. Let's make it a color so we can see it. And then 12 times 2 thirds, that'd be 12 times 2, which is 24. 24 divided by 3, I think, is 8. Is that the exact same answer from the very, very first question? It might be. Oh my goodness, look at this, let's see. Look at that, 27x12, 2 thirds. Oh wow, way to have some variety, Mr. K. Jeez Louise, there you go. All right, so we have a 9x to the 8 for our final answer. Um, again, in review, this 3 sneaks in underneath. We attach it, we make this a 2 thirds. 2 thirds is our seasoning, stick it to the 12. Attach it to the 27, follow your exponent rules, and everybody wins. All right, cool. So 9x to the 8 power for this example. That is the yodeling goat.